Navin, good to have you with us in the studio. Just tell our viewers, first of all, what exactly are these rivers in the sky? What causes them? So basically, you see the moisture. That's what the, the main thing is about. In the wake of this global warming, there's more and more moisture, particularly originating in the tropics and then going towards poles. Now, the thing is, it used to happen before also, but now we have more moisture and therefore, scientists are saying they're getting longer, bigger, intense and traveling longer distances. But here's the thing. We also have wind and jet, jet patterns changing, jet stream changing. Therefore, these rivers are meandering as well. And the risk is where will they dump that massive amount of rainfall? That's the question. So this is why it's happening in uh, unexpected or more unexpected places. And I understand uh, these rivers in the sky, the atmospheric rivers have a rating system a bit like hurricanes to, to talk about the potential threat they cause. So tell us about the impacts of these. We mentioned it briefly in the introduction. So you see, what happens is uh, when massive amount of rainfall, when they arrive, particularly at locations where you are not uh, expected or you're not supposed to see them, and also the fact that if there is no early warning, then there's this massive flood or landslides even. For instance, when I spoke to uh, Met officials in India, for instance, they were telling me that these Met, these, these sky rivers in the sky are now merging with monsoon rains and they are reaching to those places. And then again, there is no proper forecasting. They are yet to have that technology and so, idea. So what can be done to adapt? So what they're saying is now they're trying to liaise with Met of, um, specialists, hydrologists, and then work it out. But then, as you know, it, it, it used to happen, it still happens a lot in the west coast of the U.S. or in that part of the world. But because now it's happening in other parts of the world, they will have to adopt, they will have to learn this thing in the wake of climate change. And that is the challenge uh, we'll have to live with. OK, Navin, thank you very much for taking us through that story. Navin Singh Kadka. Uh, you can see more on that story on the BBC 